the next level. Take it to the next level. Take it to the next level. Take it to the next level.
Malkyol. Remember Malkyol. Ash Hero comes into the Moon 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 catches two. Twitch on the backside just doing much damage. Silas tries to catch one on Ari. Snares in three people. Brand's gonna go down and Moonwall's gonna come through. Ash gonna be feel free firing as well as Twitch on the backside. Brand's still up. Malkai goes down by Ash. And Ash also takes out Darius. Moon Moon's on a bad spot. All from there. Does he kill die? Nope. Looks like Baron Buddies has to step back because they were not ready and too low when they got caught. Nunu stepping in to try to catch that MF. MF is going to get caught. Luxol is going to hit. Moon Moon. Now going to go down. Nunu stepping way too far in. Wowie just in front of everybody. Hanging Lux so much in. Dragon, MF and Wukong are going to be able to take it secure. Blitzcrank hooks Gwen. Alt comes out from uh, Clear Milio. Oh, the nice, beautiful Yone ult. Husky Rider needs to step in a little bit more. Wukong is still there. Hook comes in, knock up. Solid. Blitzcrank and face check that, that's fine. They need to go back into the solution. Winter split week seven for Arbiter. This is going to be the playoffs because week six last week, unfortunately, with the spectator bug, we were not able to see it. So we are now done with the regular season, which means uh, instead of three blocks, this will be best of three. So if someone gets two bowed, there will not be a third game. Uh, today, I, Scarlet, am here with XX Angry, um, oh. member of Divine Temple, because Baron Buddies unfortunately could not make their game. <laughs> so uh, Divine Temple will move on to the finals and face the winner of tonight's stream match, RAR versus TD Poro. Yep, uh, it's semifinals. Uh, the semifinals, but it's okay. Right. Yeah, no. I mean, anyway. this is just watch week for me, man. This is going to be fun yeah. games. Yeah, just getting the knowledge. On your 2 you know? Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty, pretty hard. Pretty hard game. They were really good. Um, um, so the teams are already pretty quick on it, so I think. We should get in the draft pretty quickly. Um, again, this is the best of three. So if uh, two happens, then it will be over. Um, and no, there's no like caring about games. Like if you bring it to game three, it doesn't matter. You have to win game three because you either you either are on elimination match by losing, or you're in the uh, upper finals by winning. Um, so definitely have to adapt quickly and can't take a you know uh, what is it called like a Consolation game. It's not going to matter. Yeah, no, these three blocks don't mean nothing in the playoffs. You have to win it out. Two games. Two games is all you need to win this. You could stop early. It'll be easy games. But yeah, that's true. If you two win games. Two, you get a lot of time extra. And you don't show much of your draft um, strategy because now the games actually matter, right? For the regular season with four people, four teams, not four people, obviously. With four teams, there was a lot of, you know, experimentation, we'll call it. But the experimentation is over because you don't want to be in an elimination yet. You want to be in the upper bracket for as long as possible. With that no. in mind, Doki is in the jungle now. Um, he has moved around, let's say. <laughs> but this time, yeah. they have him in the jungler as far as I'm aware. It looks like they are in LCS order, so that's correct. Um, and I think RAR may actually bring some consistency this time, perhaps. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know what other role Doki played besides jungle, because I remember <laughs> he uh, he whipped out the Nunu both weeks and uh, it was not fun. The Nunu um, was kind of. I don't have access to my notes today right now, but I'm pretty sure he played top lane. Uh, Did he actually? Two weeks ago. Yeah, because they had a top laner. Uh, it was Tremor, not be able to make but it. Tremor just was not available that day. It was the first time he was on the team. Okay. And uh, Doki no was like, okay, I'll play top lane. Whatever, who cares? 
<laughs> and um, it did not go amazing. Let's just say it wasn't as consistent as his jungle. Uh, so I think that they will consider keeping him there. Yeah, no, and um, the annoying part about him is you have to you have to pay attention, make sure that he doesn't get his Nunu because he is a one trick. So that Nunu is uh, <laughs> yeah, the Nunu and the Maokai. Although the Maokai is like a draft one trick thing. I swear to God, he's like, all right, top lane support. You're gonna learn Maokai. Got it? And then we'll draft Maokai, and then they'll never know where it is. Except the gambit has paid off because Maokai is in the best spot he's ever been in in history. Yeah, no. It's so like, now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess the gambit hasn't paid off because you can never pick Maokai because it's always banned. Speaking of which, we are into bans. Zach banned away immediately. It looks like they are scared of Doki, but more than just his Nunu. We'll see if the Maokai also eats a ban. Or if Rar bans it because it's such an easy first pick for any team now. Yeah, no, it is a, just a plug and play. You can kind of put them anywhere and it'll work mm -hmm. out. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those champions that has always been in a great flex pick, except now he's just broken, so... Um, you get the benefits of everything. An OP pick, that can go anywhere. The Quirky ban makes a lot of sense. Uh, we have talked to this about this before. Rooktor plays a lot of Quirky, and I believe one other mid laner that I'm forgetting right now. Um, it's Lux, usually, I think. And Lux and Quirky usually eat bans, but again, that does imply that either Rar will be banning Maokai, or Pora will get it. Kind of interested to see what Rar bans here, though. Um, curious if they think PD Core is gonna stick to the regular season stuff, or if they have something else in mind. Jarvan ban makes sense. A lot of jungle champions getting banned these days, honestly. Yeah, jungle's so influential; it just makes sense. The mm -hmm. Zach ban it could go both lanes. Right now, Zach is really, really good. So I yeah, I'm expecting a Nunu or a Lux ban, but it's actually a Trasana ban, and then the immediate Fizz ban. So will Poro pick up the Malkar with the give Doki his favored? champion of all time, but especially now. I wouldn't be shocked with the Maokai pick. I think Maokai is so so important. If he's if he's there, he should just be picked. Yeah, yeah. I think Doki's unfortunate position is that he almost has to ban Maokai now on red side, despite it being his favorite Maokai. pick, and it's his. Go over to TD Poro, and Doki is wishing that he had blue side right now, but unfortunately with the seeding, Poro got the pick, right? Um, yeah. And A Roar picked red side, I'm learning, actually. Yeah, well, um, right. they decided to do this anyways and let Maokai go through. So I'm curious if this is part of their strategy or if they're just accepting that Maokai will be picked and they have two picks lined up. Like, okay, they're going to pick Maokai because I'm not banning it. Yeah, the so only thing two I picks can think of lined up is uh, the brand pick because he does play brand. There mm -hmm. he is. Yep. Yeah, brand brand is really, really good into the Maokai. And, and then. Faster. And then you also have a free pick for your mid laner, right? Like, yes, it, Corky and Trasana are banned, but I think Richter has quite the pool of champions he's really happy to blind pick here. We'll have to see, though. I mean, some mid laners aren't confident even on their main picks blind pick, so it'd be respectable to pick your support or something here. Yeah, no, it's probably going to be bot lane, but I wouldn't be shocked if they picked. Okay, awesome. I was going to say I was going to say Syndra, but I'm not sure. It's so good. He's so good on it. That just makes sense. Yeah, and Ari is a good blind pick, but I feel like if you're really interested in getting your mid laner a blind or counter pick, it would be good as well. Ash Zyra, that is a classic. Oh man, I feel bad for Ar. That is not going to be a fun lane to play. Yeah, but Rar usually has some interesting bot lanes to play into the classic. You know, Ash Zyra has been around. It's not like <laughs> reinventing the wheel. So what does Rar think they can pick it apart with? They've already got quite amount of CC, but also magic damage. So their comp is missing quite a lot, because you kind of want a little bit more tank. No, Twitch is a little more. Usually. I agree. Is that locked in? It is. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was thinking he was going to do the Varus pick. I mean, it's... Yeah, Varus makes a lot of sense here. Uh, he does play um, really well. I'm curious if this is, like... Something that he's been practicing a lot for um, Red Face Beast, or yeah, what they think yeah. it brings to the Ash Zyra lane. Because, I mean, I'm not a Twitch player, but I definitely wouldn't want to be a Twitch player against Ash Zyra. Yeah, no, I don't see anything on his profile about a Twitch. I don't see a lot of quests of those, so I'm actually very shocked that he picked the Twitch. And there's so many better options. So they think the Maokai is going jungle, because obviously it's not support. Uh, and they're banning top laners, which makes a lot of sense. 
if you're blind picking Ari, you're not worried about any specific matchup, obviously, because they could have picked it. So what other top laner will they ban here? Also, I don't know if Renata would have been... I mean, it does make sense. I just... Having to play Twitch or not, in, I mean, I guess Twitch anything into that lane is awful, so I guess it's like you can ban whatever support makes it the most bearable for late game. But I almost want like something really safe in lane for Rar. So I'm curious if Toro is going to continue targeting that. I don't know why they ban the Orc, especially when their top laner is just Pantheon one trick. Mm -hmm. They left Pantheon up, but let the Orc go. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get what they're trying to get at. All right, you should see a support pick here because there's no reason not to let your top counter pick, unless they're worried about like being pre-picked. But they just let two bans go through on top, and they ban top laner. So I don't think they're gonna pick a top laner here. But what support do you, are you willing to place Irish Shire in? Of course, it could be brand support. Um, we speculated that the brand is for Doki, but it could make a lot of switch, sense to switch it here. And Doki loves flexing things, so they might be talking about it now. Yeah, this okay. is rough. They have no tank, a lot of AP. And they let them out fight too. Um, okay, yeah, I'm a little boards. interested wow. in both ties. I think TD Poro just like got the five champions that they probably wanted to start the day with. I mean, this looks perfect, right? You got a secure bot lane that's always stable. Maokai, broken champion, and then Malphite, yeah, so why the heck not? Um, Perfect team fight comp. Your lanes are great. Um, Malphite might struggle a little bit depending on what's picked here, but we did ban the Gwen. Yasuo, I think it's fine into Ari. Like, Ari is a safe pick. It's not something that you use to punish Yasuo. Oh, so I'm much pick AP. More AP. Which oh, is funny because it's a Malphite, but... Um, you know, I actually don't think the AP is going to be that much of a big deal because Twitch does um, prey upon low armor targets. And the only people that can build MR are Malphite and Malkai. And even then, it might not be that effective. Yeah, I think what they're going to do is they're going to end up playing through bot and just trying to keep the Twitch out of the game. Because if they keep the Twitch out of the game, then Mop might win his lane. And, you know, he's up CS. He's probably not going to be up CS. But if he gets any AP item, Twitch is just rendered useless. Game's over. It, it does seem like it is inordinately on Red Face Beast to find the good engages. And for Lunarpa, I mean, she's got Lux support. Um, and I just, and they're I don't know, that's a really <laughs> tough lane. Very that's spooky. a really tough, yeah, you're not even one of the uh, supports that can peel, right? Like, yeah. yes, you have the QCC, the ECC, but if a Malphite ults your carry, you've got nothing. Yeah, um, expect and then you also ult right afterwards, like, you at least hope for, like, a Janna ult or some kind of CC follow-up. But all you can do is bind, and binding's not going to stop Malphite from auto-attacking your AD carry. <laughs> Uh, in that situation, at least. I know. I don't, I don't like the Lux pick. I think they should have went tank and gauge. Even though it probably wouldn't have been good for lane, it would have been good to help, you know, Doki get engaged on lanes and get the brand fed. And it's also interesting that Roar picked red side, despite basically giving Poro everything they wanted. Now, in best of threes, you can do the thing where you give Poro what they want and see how, where they land on it. Like, yeah. Use the first game as like a scouting thing, but even then, I don't feel like this comp yeah. is ideal for that because you're playing Silas top and Twitch AD carry. Um, yeah, usually, I, you want to play something like, a little safer. I don't like the run of it. I have the run of draft because a little scuffed, especially since they have no tank and their poke is not really that great. Okay, so what are the strength? What can Rar play to? Because they've got to find at least one avenue, right? Yeah, um, no, well, say the Yasuo gets behind. You camp the Yasuo, Brand gets fed, Ari gets uh, the ability to charm Ash out of stuff. Then the Malphite R, Yasuo R isn't that scary. Maybe Twitch can flash it every other fight. Um, and then Silas can Malphite R back, and then... Or I'm Bush Cheese. Bush They're cheese. gonna have to show me in-game, because I mm. am not seeing it currently from the draft. And uh, that's really... Um, difficult. <laughs> Whenever you like don't even have an avenue that's clear from the draft. Um, yeah, maybe no. they have something that I'm not seeing, but I think they're just going to have to play through the lanes. Yeah, no, I mean, let's see. I mean, they are the best team in the league, so there's always a chance when you're the best. Right, you could just scenario. outperform yeah. your opponents, not show anything for the future playoffs, and play nonsense like this, and it'll work. Not that it's like 
complete nonsense. I think the draft itself is like okay in a vacuum, but giving Poro everything here and then drafting this feels like a mistake for sure. Or at yeah. least like a arrogant decision. I, I think the Silas was a good pick if they had something else instead of the Lux. I think the Lux kind of turns this draft to where it's very hard to execute. And that's going to be the or issue. Or the Twitch even. Like imagine you had like a Zaya. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, everything could have changed. We could we could change the whole deck, but it's not gonna change much. But after that Twitch lock in, you know, you should have something for him. Now Twitch is just gonna be hard to get off unless Ari charms in a bush and they just bush camp with Twitch I being wonder, twelve oh and four. <laughs> I wonder if the Silas was an overreaction because if you look at just Silas versus these five champions, this is like the most perfect Silas game of all time. Oh yeah, they <laughs> gave us him... very happy. Um, and uh, yeah, if you can pick Silas before picking these other champions, you're very happy. But you locked in these other champions first. Yeah. So he kind of just has to go top lane and be okay with it. I mean, even if they ran like the brand support and you know ran the Silas jungle, done something like that, and then do like a really really good tank top or like a. Mundo or even because he's going into a mouth fight, but I don't know. They're, they're kind of. I think they're just one one piece away. They're just not going to be able to get consistent engage. Yeah. Um. I don't know. We'll have to see. It looks like there is a slight issue with the client. I think we're gonna go to a break for now. It might be slightly longer than usual, but uh, it's just an issue with draft. So. We should still be able to get in the game and spectate and everything. Fingers crossed. Um, so we'll be back with this game and see what RAR can bring with us.
You always make up something, you know I try to pray for you Even when we're touching, you always make a fussing Okay, I'm pushing, don't touch my picture I'm trying to pace it You kept me waiting, I try to pray for you I try to pray for you
Okay, um, welcome to TD Poro versus RAR. Um, we're finally in. Sorry, we had just some computer issues for one of the players. But it looks like both teams are stacking up. And I think this favors the Ash and Maokai. But Lux is pretty powerful as well. Silas level 1 is pretty good too. However, I think uh, Rark has a, or TD Poro has a pretty good entry here. Completely unspotted. Yeah, no, they're both trying to invade. But <laughs> they invaded opposite sides of red. Well, it looks like Rar, like is trying to defend from an invade in a very specific place because they're not going past the river. Yeah. So I think they were trying to catch a five point or something. Oh. They, I don't think they, they saw anybody there. I think they did. They yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Um, either way, they didn't really react to it. Um, Doki has exhaust and brand, which is interesting. I mean, I know he never goes flow. Oh. Yeah, so they never see goes Doki flash. right now. Doki see Verenda, sees Verenda, does not know if there's anyone else who checks, walks away, and there's no way both junglers start at 1.30, exactly. In fact, looks like Verenda's backing off. And Doki's starting chickens. He might be just clearing top clear. I don't, I don't know why he did that, but... <laughs> I don't think either top. jungler really wanted or expected this, but it seems yeah. like it favors Doki, in my professional opinion. I mean, Malkai's already slow clear versus Brand. And now yeah. Doki knows where Maokai is, and Verinda started late. Yeah, so now, okay, so now he's starting to path bottom. So this makes sense now. He's, uh, <laughs> he's definitely going to have a faster clear than Maokai, so they should know just not not to push. Back it off, let the Twitch go into you. And One be free interesting lane. thing is that I believe they would think that Doki started Raptors and went to red, but he actually just skipped his red and all top lane yep. trades, which are a little exciting with Silas. So Doki will be bot lane a little bit faster than they expected. Uh, and with a Twitch and Lux, I can get pretty explosive. Yeah, and Twitch, and like we were talking about before, Doki's just, he's hes crazy. So yeah, I, I don't expect he's them to already have health. Yeah, it's bad. They lost a rush level too and uh, paid for it with a lot of health, unfortunately. Yeah, this is a full wave control to where I don't even think a gank works. Like, nope. you get the full crash on the tower, and then you just sit back and let the minions come back, and it's pretty good. Meanwhile, mid lane is favoring the Yasuo just a little bit there. Like, yeah, you can say the health bars are pretty even, but if the health bars are even and Yasuo is up on CS, that usually means that Yasuo is outperforming his uh, expected value. Yeah, and right now Ari is just going to be better. Oh, Doki's going for a weird end bait. Yasuo can answer this immediately. Yasuo, also, for Renders, he's playing Maokai, which just... Gets so there much damage early. Flash information wow. gives him first blood. And now Yasuo is going to snowball. Yep, no, this is bad for Rar because they needed the Yasuo to not be fed. But he's already starting off good. He should be winning this matchup into Ari and should start roaming soon. Let's see at six. What an interesting choice to skip your red and go for, like, I guess a tempo play. Just not quite able. Even though Melkai did go for all three camps, Renda did get all three yep. camps. He was still bottling in time to answer the brand invade. And Veranda's looking for Lux. Know. Oh wow, he's actually going to be able to get the brute. Double brute, big knight, flash really off Lux. Game. Wow. Oh, one point. Right. Not bad. No. Not too bad. I mean, the Maokai took too much tower aggro. Yeah, I don't but... think it's uh, what Veranda really wanted. You don't usually want to trade your life just for the support. Twitch is still yeah. okay. Yes, Beast has to back away without getting a wave. But, yeah, but this uh, is this is really punishing for Twitch. I mean, he's going to lose out on this wave if they push it fast enough. And, uh, you know, Richter has no mana and just getting completely out-tempoed by the Yasuo. I know. Richter's having a rough start, but I'm sure he'll pick it up. His roams are really, really crazy. Yeah, but where will he roam to? I mean, the Silas may be, but Botlane already looks like it's going to be very difficult to roam to. Yeah, yeah I mean, Syra that's already probably has the ability. Only. That's their only like chance, really. I mean, they just have to hope and pray that they make a mistake while they're overpushed. I mean, we unfortunate, but you know that's the draft that they drafted. So we just mm -hmm. kind of have to watch it play out. Now, so, void grubs are up. I'm curious to see if the Yasuo is going to be six for this to you know help take over the game. Void grubs on this comp it make it so hard for Roar to play. I mean, it's, they're already backed up on a lot of categories, so the Void Grubs would just be helping their cause. 
Yeah, and the one thing is that Razor doesn't have teleport, so Yasuo backing here means that maybe there was a window, but Doki's using that window to get Dragon. Yeah. I respect it. I think Cloud Drake is kind of... <laughs> Whenever you're Ash and you see Cloud Drake, you're like, man, this dragon usually <laughs> sucks, but now I really want to deny it. And they will not be able to at this time because Brenda's taking grubs. So, I mean, I'm not sure how much Cloud Drake actually helps against Ash, but it feels good to take it against Ash specifically. Yeah, I'll agree. I agree with you, but I think Void Grubs was more important. I just don't think they were set up. Doki was bot side. It's just the way the cookie crumbled. He's going for an invade here too, but the only things that are up are the Krugs. Krugs. And I don't know that um he's gonna find them. He does. But it's like such a low tempo invade. You get one camp, but all of your camp are, camps are alive, and I think I mean Malkai wasn't farming them anyways. Yeah, and then he also will get some poke damage. He has no R, so that's kind of a interesting dynamic to look forward to for the next two minutes. I mean nothing will be up. And I doubt that the junglers will fight each other, so yeah. it's probably fine to just trade it for tempo and lane. No, that the issue with that is just Doki. Doki is just always looking for something, regardless of what time it is. Yeah, he might go mid here. There's no ult on Yasuo, like you said, and Malkai is pretty far away. However, yeah, it seems flash. like Razors is also aware that this is a possibility, or he's roaming up because Malfight ult plus Yasuo. I don't know if you've heard, it's really good. However, Trimmer. Makes it the way Hoodie is low enough that they can't really go for it. And Yasuo has come up here. I don't know if he's going to follow through. He'll try. But with no ultimate and Tremors being Silas, I'm pretty sure it is just him picking up the wave. And that'll be a trade. You deny the top wave to Silas, who has teleport, but you lose the mid wave. They are looking for a dive here. It's a little risky, though. Hoodie Man is... Yeah, I mean, Hoodie might just get wave. killed on the side. So... He needs to He needs to go or they need to be near him. And Ari's just but... denying another wave for this. So they better get something off this dive. I mean, he's and again, Tremor has teleport. So oh, he's gonna no. kill here is not that amazing. Malphite ult into oh, Yasuo is no. good. So they do get it without dying. And they will deny probably a cannon and maybe four or five minions. But Ari's denied like twice that, gotten a plate. And Silas will teleport back here soon, very soon. And, and Hoodie's not even getting the benefit out. of this. Yeah, no. Because he has I mean, to back. He's too low. So the teleport comes I'm... in. Yasuo is missing a lot. Uh, I can't quite tell if he got a plate because Silas is blocking the thing. But, I, I mean, think he looking did. at the gold... I think he did. Um, Yasuo is up gold because of the early kill plus the assist there. But I don't think that that play was positive in total. Because now... Oh, meanwhile, Luna going down to Ignite. Maybe it's really close. Red face be splashing in, getting to Cypher. But now he has to fight a bunch of minions along with Husky. Husky fighting the minions there to get six. But not ulting yet. Trying to save it to oh. kill Lunar. Doesn't do it, go for it. Instead gets the cleanse off of Red face. He barely does not get the W on the Lunar Paw for the kill. It was an interesting oh, decision there to fight the minions to get six. It just doesn't quite work out. Their bot lane caught up to the Twitch got two kills, so that would have been so clutch for their bot the Ash Zyra bot lane. Mm -hmm. But beforehand, you know, Yasuo, that roam up was really good. I thought it was really, really good. I'm still stuck on it. It was a really, really good play. It's just unfortunate when the kill went the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Now the Yasuo is stuck. Oh, he's going for something greedy. Decipher's back. So this will be a 2v1. However, has to flash in from Zyra. It gets the root off. I'm pretty sure this is a kill. It goes over to Husky. And Red Face Beast saw Zyra's there, but did not respect the flash root. Wow. And the Silas is still going into town on this mountain. Yeah. I mean, Hoodie this did is... not get the benefit of that play, in my opinion. Like, the gold no. is not in his favor at all. And the gold doesn't really matter on the Malphite, because it's just Malphite. True. Things. Too tanky. Yeah, true. Too tanky no matter what, so... Anybody but him would have been great for the kill. And these are the types of mistakes that the team needs for. Mm -hmm. The needs for. Actually, a good trade back, especially since the Zyra came up. Um, lowers a little bit of the pressure of the Yasuo. I seriously doubt he'll be roaming right now. If he will, though. Void Grubs are up pretty soon. And that's going to be the next big thing I have to believe. Ocean Drake might be interesting. But you really don't want to give six Void Grubs over to Ash. <laughs> um, and not to Yasuo either, really. I mean, maybe Rara doesn't really care. Because they're not really looking for this game to go long anyway. So maybe six Void Grubs isn't that big of a deal to them. But Doki is pathing towards it. You know, Brenda content to just take farm for it. Oh, the charm means that 
Razors cannot go in, and Doki's looking for a gink instead, maybe, because of how low Razor is. But instead, they yeah. converge with the Lux support, go for the grubs. Yeah, I mean, that was a clean play. Ari, Ari chunking out the Yasuo. The Yasuo is their key part from the top side of the map. So getting him out of the fight gives them a free Void Grubs. I don't see why not perfect. They're taking it. Malphite is yeah, the only and Brenda, one. Yeah, and Brenda taking the trade. Pretty happy with it, I'm sure. Deny the soul stacking whenever you're the scaling team is really good. Um, and it's not 100% clear they're the scaling team, but I just don't see how this team functions for RAR in the late game, so they kind of are. Despite, yeah, you know, the Twitch and the Silas maybe being better in late game. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I don't even know, like, what, what to do here for RAR. They got, they got the dragon. No, no, they got the void grabs. RAR got the void grabs. They're going to need it to push the turrets. They're going to have to split all game. This Yasuo cannot get kills. Ari's doing a very good job, that. He still is pretty, I mean, yeah, he got chunked, but I think he's pretty happy with his position. Up, like, even gold, basically, for Yasuo. Yeah. Uh, even XP. Yeah. Definitely not denied as much as you would like to see a Yasuo this early. Um, yeah. Well, Maokai ult actually catching out Beast, but unfortunately knocks him out. Oh, actually, Brenda getting a lot. Plus, he's still going to die. Actually... Wow. Oh, sorry, I just, like, totally lost my train of thought there while that happened. But Beast ends up killing two on a dive uh, for him. Lux ult was the only uh, input that Lunar was able to get, but it was enough. No, it was great kills, but I think too many too many died for it to be kind of worth Oh, it, yeah, Twitch is in a great position. He'll take that every time. I mean, do you get Twitch accelerated the late game? He's really happy. Meanwhile, Tremor goes in with Malphite's own ultimate, and Malphite says, I am a tank. I really don't care. <laughs> cool story, bro. He's actually trying to freeze in front of Hoodie or Tremor, and now Doki's here, too. So uh, that freeze will not be mm. happening, sir. He still has ultimate. He could do something here. He just yeah, needs Yasuo one of them is to here, Or coming, at least. But I don't think Doki and Trim are going to stay around. There's no objective, and I doubt they want to push another wave. And they definitely see that Yasuo is missing. Will they react properly? It looks like they are going back to tower, and that means Ari gets to deny another wave. Now, will uh, TD Poro try to die? Meanwhile, bot lane fight. Probably just going to be a trade. Not a big deal. And it looks like everything is dispelling top lane. So that just means that Ari denied another wave, got another plate for Yasuo walking up to what basically prevented Hoodie from being in trouble, but didn't give them any material advantages immediately. Yeah, I mean, now Yasuo's behind. I mean, it's only 200 gold, but he started out 300, yeah, 400 minions. gold up. <laughs> minion save is crazy. That's right. Yeah, now it's, Ari, now it's uh, Richter's turn to roam for basically nothing and has to use teleport to get back. Still loses the wave. I think... Uh, Razors was not able to get a plate because of the teleport, but using a teleport just to charm a minion feels really bad. Lunar is a little low. Asher comes oh, in. Luxol is able to do enough, though, that I think there might be playback. Yes, there is a one-for-one -one trade supports down. Flash for Flash. No flash. ultimate, but Razors is here. But it's Twitch. So he just gets to run away invisible. And that's another roam from a mid laner that led to nothing. I mean, obviously the play happened. There was a one-for-one, -one, but Razors literally oh. just walked to spectate. The top lane fight is still going crazy. I think this is a fun. This is the best matchup as a top lane. I guess. I just feel like it's never going to actually turn into anything. Like, we're all going to be like, oh my god, the health bars are so low. It's going to happen. And then, <laughs> and, yeah, no, it never. Like, oh, oh, wait, actually, oh, it, wait, might be the happening. Tremor, it might be happening. Tremor. Wait, but the health bars are so oh low. My god. And it's another no. bait. Dude, I hate All I needed was Bramble Bats. Bramble Bats. I hate, I hate, I hate top lane. I hate. I, I'm done. Okay, I'm never <laughs> talking about top lane again. <laughs> top lane is this is the fun in top lane, man. Oh, Doki's no actually top here, over. He starts the herald despite not having top support and not having mid support. Maokai ult is here, and this ought to be a kill on Doki. Oh no! The cipher gets it though. Fire. Wow, that was just a free key back into the game and ahead by a lot. Yeah, and it looked like it was a timing where they didn't know where Zyra was because Ash wasn't showing. Yeah. Um, and I guess they thought Yasuo was on one of his spectating adventures in the bot lane or something, but he was in a bush waiting for Doki. And yeah, Doki no. said, I don't care, this Herald's mine. Clearly, it wasn't. And that's another thing, not having Flash, he could have flashed out of there. Just saying. <laughs> Just I don't know. Yeah. I don't think the flash is the problem there. I'll be honest. No, um, no, 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 no. There are a lot of problems in that play. I don't think it was Flash. No, just... <laughs> From from hating on the exhaust and hating on the night, I had to bring it up. Fair enough. Oh my god, another fight in the top lane. No, 
you're not letting me buy it. I'm not yes, buying it. I'm letting you, yes, you are buying in. <laughs> oh, Rook is in trouble here, however. Flash over to catch the Ari despite the ultimate, oh, but she still flash. gets two more dashes. Has to flash out. So they get a flash for Fl Zyra's flash. Pretty happy with that, but it was a really nice yeah. flash from Decipher to prevent the Ari ult from uh, stopping the root. They got like, everything Ari there. Yeah, yeah. Ultimate. Doki's face checking into Ash here. Oh, no. Good stun. Arrow is up, but the Lux ult will still come through, and Lunar Fog picks up wow. that kill. And that's just face checking into Doki. Yes. You know, top Stop lane is just going to be wave clear as they pretend to trade health bars, but that doesn't mean anything. Lunar Fog oh. is on the wrong side of this, by the way. <laughs> uh, oh, God. The Doki's TPs are with her, though. No, the TP's no. coming this in. Silas has Malphite ult. Silas has Malphite ult. There it is. For it. Right. Twitch is a lot of damage here. This is probably their only way to win the game. If they get plays like this, a shutdown on the support. No more plates, but you definitely are happy to teleport for that and the dragon. You know what? That was a good play by them. As long, it looked mm -hmm. bad from the start. But you know that Silas TP with Malphite are finally the top laner who's getting kills. This is what I like to see. It did feel Dragon. like all four players in the situation had no idea what was going on, why there was a Lux and a Brand in their jungle. <laughs> <laughs> but then a Silas shows up. Brenda, by the way, trying to go for a crazy steal attempt. Tremor's the only one that could possibly die, but he's Silas. Malphite comes oh in, God. maybe gets it, does get a double kill. Dragon's still alive, no smite, here comes. They do get the Dragon for Rar, but actually, Verinda's crazy play works out because of the delay, and Ash just being able to wail on people. Oh, wow. Rook out with ultimate. Oh, we didn't even TP. Where did where did Malphite come from? <laughs> he just walked in. He didn't play. <laughs> Everyone respawned or walked back from base straight to Dragon Pit. We're like, we're doing this. They're too slow. Okay. Which is a wild take. I did not think that they would take the Dragon. So meanwhile, Arrow comes in. No Ari ultimate. Seraph's Embrace is finished, but it's not going to be enough with the charm. However, they will pick up Razor's. That is a shutdown for Razor over and a lot of damage on the second tower. However, yeah, I mean, Red Face Beast is kind of popping off, and this is their only avenue to win the game. It has to be repeated. Their only avenue to win the game is Twitch popping off and then just never getting Malphite ulted. Yeah, that's going to be hard, but the Q and this <laughs> is definitely going to help him not get caught. Hopefully, oh, maybe we're getting no, our wish he's, he's getting the oh. wave. He's getting the wave. Nothing is Man. going to happen. Hoodie's Tremor. Away. Come on, Tremor. Give me what I like to see. I'm hoping this back for Malphite. We might see a Bramble Vice come in. Finally! <laughs> finally! He would have had so many kills if he just had the Bramble Vice. So many close engages would have been negating his health regen on his W. And it would have been. So huge. mid laners are moving bot lane. Only Richter has teleport. However, the next objective that's really important is the dragon, because this 20-minute Baron is probably not happening. Yeah, I mean, after mm. seeing Rar's slow dragon take, I don't think it's happening. They have the best chance with all their burst, but it's too soon. Top laners, clearing waves, but Doki is here. If Hoodie gets too caught up in the trading, he may forget that there's a mage there. Ooh, Dodges Doki the stun, so it's just Doki coming up here to be annoying. Oh, man. See, you know, you got Baron up. They got so much vision for it that they pro they see the Zyra there. There's no yeah, way Yeah, I'm that... curious to see what Doki is committing here for. I don't think they put much pressure on the tower with Bren Silas, but... I guess they don't really face that much pressure in the mid lane either. Twitch is just kind of free-farming. He's chilling. Yeah, no, I mean... They are losing their bot side jungle, I guess, is the trade-off. And you don't really care if Malphite is farming under tower... Like, his CS no. is not the problem here. Rooktar has to be careful, though, because he is by himself with two people. Yeah, I don't... I mean, he should know Verinda's with... And now he definitely does. No, now he's, uh, he's But where do you go? Is this execute time? This is execute time. Yeah. Uh, it's probably worth it if he gets to execute off, I guess, getting the tower. I mean, he has teleport. There's no objective up. It's no. like one of those, like, I guess you were right. Oh, yeah. oh my... He's getting the wave. This is greed beyond belief. Hey, man. Good on him. <laughs> Worth it. A hundred percent worth it. I'm gonna put my stamp of approval there. <laughs> oh man. Well, now that the Baron's spawning and we should see some heads top lane just to make sure that the red side doesn't do the Baron, because if they do, that's that'll get them in the head of the game. With one K difference between the two teams, a Baron fight. Okay. Just so came. Tremor has taken Malphite ult. 
and we're a hundred seconds short of dragon spawning. Yeah. So this is kind of possibly a misstep. I mean, yeah, you threaten the Malphite. Look, Hoodie is so scared right now. Oh my god, Tremor has Malphite ult. I'm going to die. Um, <laughs> but you're not really threatening the team fight later. I I'm guess just you can waiting. take Ash Arrow and you're just as happy, but man. Double it feels like a valuable Malphite. ultimate to just hold in lane. Double Malphite ult. Come on, let's see it. <laughs> Both of them, now. <laughs> I think <laughs> that Hoodie is going to properly save his ultimate for the teleport option for this Mountain Drake that's spawning in 60 seconds. Most likely, that would be the smart thing to do. But obviously, we don't want smart things. We want fun things. Give us what we want. <laughs> <laughs> now with the bear, with the dragon spawning in, only team on it, TD. Trying to get some vision, make sure that they yeah, get Yeah, they got some great vision control here. I mean, Mal Malkai being able to check things for free is pretty nice. Bot lane and pressure was there. It's gone now. Ari is answering it pretty freely. With Rar threatening Soul Point, it just makes sense that they want to be the first one there. They don't want to be on Soul Point, especially when their comp is better right now, in my opinion. Yeah, and honestly, you don't have to worry about Malphite <laughs> ult. Yep. Like, it's so cool whenever you have the Malphite ult and they don't. It's kind of a cool reason to draft Malphite. Yeah, because Cyrus Cyrus comes in and that. misses, though. And that Cyrus was a big engage tool for them. Meanwhile, Yasuo was ahead of them. Malphite is the one supposed to be initiating it. Instead, it's Yasuo, but the Maokai ult comes in. Flash oh, forward for the Decipher ultimate means that Lunar Pub will go down, but that's just a support. We're Ooh. looking at the Malphite ult. Will it find the Twitch? Oh, no, it goes to the rest of the team. Twitch is. is still free hitting. So, yes, they get a double kill. But now Beast is hitting everyone. Hoodie first, but he doesn't have a front line, so it's going to work out for them. It turns out three carries in the bush is worth one Twitch in the hand, and they will take the fight. I'm Yasuo. I'm thanking Hoodie after this game. That was such yeah, a yeah, yeah. clean ult. Clean ult. I was a little scared for him because that Twitch could have done something, maybe a few more items in the... But not this time. Not think, not whenever your entire team goes up like that. The, the Twitch definitely had a kill on a... Oh, oh the, yeah, the Twitch definitely could have gotten a kill on the Yasuo if he stayed a little longer. But here we are, Baron up. Let's see if uh, Rar Dragon tries Beach, to... Yeah. yeah, Dragon, no soul point threatened, so one team could look to drop it next. But we have to pay attention to that. I mean, the teams look even, but... Yeah? One team has a Malphite, Yasuo, <laughs> Ash, Maokai, Zyra. Yeah. And the other team doesn't. <laughs> they have one of those in Silas. <laughs> so I we'll mean, have to see they... if they can pull out some other advantage. I'd love to see from TD just... Just to force them to do something on Baron. Because like we said before, you know, they're they're a team fighting cop. There's no way that Rar should be able to answer into T D on Baron Pit. With all those ultimates up. Yeah, you just sweep everything, make them face check you. Yep, and then that's it. That's your fight. Like Rar would be insane to let you be in the pit with no vision for like 30, 60 seconds. I mean, they could do it. Rar has done weird things in the past, but... Top lane. Wave clearing time. Wave clearing simulator. Our favorite mm -hmm. game. And the Malphite ult is once again taken. This time, Dragon's not spawning for three minutes, so it's probably fine. But it okay. does seem like he likes to take it whenever Doki's up here, and it has gotten them zero kills so far. I mean, not the Malphite ult. Obviously, the Malphite ult teleport got him kills, but I mean taking the ultimate in lane just to pressure Hoodie with. I don't think Hoodie's really feeling the pressure. However, Rar yeah. kind of is. Air comes through and misses, but Lunar is going to dodge that route. The other route is coming, and Razor is as well. It all was, meanwhile, Malphite ult is here. I don't think they want to do anything because they don't have Ari and teleport would be way too late. But Malphite ult is scary for sure. Now's their time to start that Baron. They should start that Baron now that they're away. They know where they are. Yeah, I mean, they're doing it. Yes. And again, this is so hard for Rar. Like, you face check, they're probably just waiting to ult you. You don't face check, they get Baron. The Vision Plant saves them a little bit, but not enough. Tremor's going to come through. They there don't have go. Smite for some reason, but they still get it. Meanwhile, Tremor dies in, and Malphite ult gets everyone. Yasuo ult is going to mean Beast is once again alone. This time, maybe he picks up one, two. That's actually uh not enough. And uh, that's a Baron for three. You get four people dead. Rookter didn't even teleport, instead opting to get the uh, tower. And uh, yeah, Malphite ult turns out to be a pretty good ability. 
They took too long to realize that they were on the bear. Noticing that, too late. I get why Ari stayed. Don't use the TP. Get the turret. Yeah. It was already too late for him to come up and make an impact. So just oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Beast actually did a lot for how bad that situation was. Like, Yeah, no, I mean... A one man army. Shooting Beast. down the horrifically scary Yasuo Ash Zyra. But unfortunately, he only gets two. Now, I'm actually kind of confused. I did just notice. He's not buying Orc. Orc would mm -hmm. be so good into the Malphite. The Malphite's our issue. The Malphite, Maokai. And it's not like you're going to get no use off of it. You got your R up. You know, you'll you'll go through the Malphite. I just, I don't know why I didn't oh, go. Oh, Decipher found here. Silas will not let this go, except the root means he might have to. Zyra ult is pretty good on Silas in this situation. I'm not sure if they want to fight. There is no Malphite ult, so it would be a really good timing for it. Yasuo is also gone. But I think they just are a little scared of the Baron and where Yasuo could be lurking. And I doubt that they have an exact timer on the Malphite ult, which is now up. Oh, this is getting good. 15 seconds on the really dragon. Close. Zyra ult's kind of used a little early. Doesn't catch yeah. anyone. Okay. Meanwhile, the other Zyra ult also catches no one, but it doesn't really matter because Malphite ult's coming. Well. The Ash ult, no Yasuo, because Yasuo isn't here yet, but they don't really need him. The Wind Wolf won't be able there to stop Beast, but the damage will be, so he will fall. Doki will also fall under tower. Richter is the only survivor. The base probably won't survive long. And Hoodie Man playing a fantastic Malphite game. I don't like mm -hmm. the kills on him so much, but he's doing, he's hitting great R's. <laughs> you and can take as many kills as you want. If there's 22 kills of 13, it's fine. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I mean, look at They're this. They're just going to tank just... the tower? With wow. the Baron minions, it's probably worth it. When will to make sure Rookter can't do anything? Spawns are really far away. They're kind of oh, juggling the aggro a little poorly. Husky has to walk away instead of constant DPS. So they might not finish here. Oh, Luck this is ult it. might be able to pick yeah. off someone. If Luckhold can pick off someone, Miss is entirely over, so that Nexus is going to be falling for sure. And TD Poro will pick up game one, maybe with a death or two. Oh. Not even. Good job. MVP definitely to Hoodie Man. Those arts are so great. Okay, um, so Silas did not answer the fact that you gave them Ash, Zyra, Malkai, Malphite, Yasuo. <laughs> One oh man cannot do it all. And Malphite did. Damage. 18,000 yeah. damage on a Malphite is crazy. Mm hmm. Good for him. MVP, for sure. Wish we got more, uh, you know, top lane skirmishes. You know, okay. Great. <laughs> I mean, My favorite I just, to watch. it's like whenever you try to get some takeaway from the draft, like, oh, maybe we need to change one or two things. I don't know. I mean, you just gave TD Porter everything, and they said, yeah, we'll take it. What did you learn from that? Um, I mean, try to make them not choose five perfect champions. Um, I mean, the only thing the you right side. get a tank. Yeah. Get a tank. <laughs> <laughs> True. They um, just had no no reliable no reliable tank, and they also had no way to get get Malphite off of them. I mean, and no is not exactly a Janna. Maybe a Janna could do something there. I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, no, I just I didn't like the draft all around. I think it was one of those things, like you said, you know, they're just looking to see what they got. I, I don't I don't believe that was what they're gonna draft for the rest of the series. Sure, I just. I'm not 100% sure what adaptations you take away from that, other than... Um, Completely revamp. Start over. <laughs> Everything, right? Everything. Or at Back least... Um, don't let Maokai go through. Because, yes, it is your pet champion, Doki, but if you're not blue side, you're not getting it. That's just the bottom line. Um, I mean, they banned the MF2, so they should have just expected that. Mm -hmm. You know, it is what it is. It happens. Let's just go to the next one. Uh, are are we sure TD Poro side selects? Because I believe uh, it's lo is it loser side selects? Okay, gotcha. Oh. So TD Poro will get to choose what they want. So this series could be right now over if uh with TD Poro picking blue twice if they pick blue. Wait, so that's crazy. Huh. That is good for them that they chose to do that the first game because now they're just going into an advantage. I mean, they might choose red. Maybe they have some other strategy, like, I don't know, crazy. they do choose red side. Maybe they have some kind of crazy adaptation, like ban Malkai on red side. 
<laughs> yeah, no. I mean, the- it's interesting that both teams think red side is the better side. Uh, I do believe that Maokai will be banned here. It'll definitely be picked if it's not banned. I mean, both teams have a propensity for it. Uh, Hoodie oh. definitely showed, or not Hoodie, um, Verinda showed that, I mean, Verinda was behind uh, level one, right? The 130 invade ended up perfectly for Doki, and yet Verinda still ended up the better of it by five minutes in. Yeah, no. I mean, now looking at it now, like I'm just looking around. T- er, the red side this season has been more of a win than. Yeah, the I think side. that if you ban something that's OP for the patch, um, red side's pretty good. But you have to have an answer to the OP things that you leave up, like Malkai, and Brand was not it. No, I mean Brand was a good pick, but like I said, a million gazillion times, and I'm gonna reiterate it again. They needed a tank. Mm-hmm. Tank would have just saved their drafts, but. It did seem like their draft was just like a a breadcrumb to disaster. Like, oh, Brand's good into Malkai. Oh, Lux will be great for lane. And then, oh, Silas is perfect here. They have so many good ultimates. And all of those ideas are good together, or separately. But you put them together and you've got a hot mess. <laughs> it's like mixing ice cream with hot sauce or something, right? Like, <laughs> these things are great in theory. They do not work together. No. For sure. We'll see what they draft next. I'm curious. Because that was just... I think that was, you know, Doki trying to do some thousand IQ plays. But I did like the Twitch. I mean, Twitch looked great even to, into a really difficult matchup. So you could probably keep that. Uh, but maybe a little bit more support for him and maybe banning the Malphite away from his face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Definitely an eventful first game, though. A lot of fighting. Mm-hmm. But we need more in that top lane, so come on. More top lane action. I think the macro was good from both teams for the most part. I mean, they did principled things. Yeah, and I mean, their ward placements were good. They, they were always keeping up on their vision. You know, if Dragon's up, they had vision there. I think up, they got vision Doki might have spent... I mean, actually, kind of the roams are a little suspect, in my opinion. Some of them worked out, and some of them seem really speculative. Um, like, honestly, if I'm a mid laner in this league, I'm playing one of these two teams, I'm just like, alright, team, they're gonna roam, I'm gonna pick a farmer and just farm and absolutely demolish them. You guys play safe. <laughs> oh, man. We'll have to I see, though. They're... Draft will be no, starting they're... soon. Again, uh, Rar will be blue side this time, because TD Poro picked red side. After this game, if it's not a 2-0, Rar will have side selection again. But this is Rar's last uh, game in upper bracket. If they lose this, they will be in best of five elimination matches for the rest of playoffs. And we already know who they're playing, so. Well, yeah, if they lose, then they will be playing Baron Baron Buddies Buddies. because Baron Buddies did uh, forfeit their match today. Um, So they will be in lower bracket. So the loser of this will play them. Um, Because of seeding... (laughs) <laughs> Let me look this up before I claim it for sure. Uh, actually, are we into draft? Sorry. Um, not yet. It looks like yes, we are. It's close. No, no, not close. Very close. Okay, then I have time to look up seedings. Give me a second. Seedings? Well, Baron, Baron Buddies was lo- uh, third. DT was second. TD was uh, lowest seed. So Rar was the number one seed. Okay, so Rar will have side select no matter what they do, I'm assuming. Uh, if they win yep. or lose, they will have side select in their next match. Correct. So they win. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, uh, I'm a I'm a DT. I'm I'm on their team. So you know, I got to root against her. I want that. I want that first pick. You know, that's so impactful. You know, that's true. Having, um, having that, I would have first pick against you. Meanwhile, uh, TD, uh, yeah, TD Poro would not. TD so Poro would not. Those... So it would it and, would definitely uh, help. Maokai will probably be a... Well, actually, I guess patch is tomorrow, correct? Or Wednesday? Something so, like that. I think it's Wednesday. Maokai might not be as prior of a pick. We'll have to see with the patch. But I still think he's going to be very useful. I mean, he's just one mm-hmm. of those champs that has so much in his kit that it just doesn't make sense not to play. Unless he's completely nerfed to the ground. But I don't think the changes are going to get him to the point where he's not going to be played. 
because they're only changing what damage to damage to monsters, right? Something like that. They're just nerfing the jungle. I have no idea. I don't remember if that was last. Guess, or but... I'm curious now because I don't remember if that was last patch or this upcoming patch. Okay, no, so keep the Twitch. Maybe prior your support before bans. Um, or pick something other than Lux. I mean, Lux is fine, but not with Branch Uncle, I guess. And don't have Silas as your answer to all these ultimates whenever you've already drafted a comp that can't use Silas properly. Yeah, I mean, it I looked think... good in that one fight, but that was it. After that, it just, they didn't have a tank. I think they regardless, have, um, they have good ult they should ban Silas just to respect the champion. I mean, clearly, I don't think, I don't think uh, Tremor actually played Silas previously. Yeah. So, um, I'm curious if TD4 will ban Maokai, because it is 100% being picked first if it's not. Bans are the same exactly so far. Uh, I don't know if Rar would really change any of their bans. I mean, Jarvan probably does similar things to Maokai. I mean, very similar champion in terms of early game role. Late game a little bit different. And I'm sure the Fizz is a little scary. But, I mean, there's a lot of things to ban, so... Rar probably should update their second and third ban. Yasuo makes a lot of yep. sense. Corky's just saying the same for TD Poro. Um, and I believe the Tristana will be a Maokai, or Maokai uh, will be picked. Hopefully. Maokai will definitely be picked if it's not banned. Firstly. Yeah, but if it's not, does that, mean, does that mean they pick up the Tristana for Rar? I don't think so. I doubt it. I doubt it. They won't, they won't first pick Trist. I don't think they pry of the Trist all too much on their end. I think maybe... Yep, there's a Maokai ban. I think maybe they just had one bad game into them and with Triss and scarred them for life here. Yeah, I just don't feel like Doki's going to be able to play Maokai this entire series. Nope. Um, he tried the gambit of leave it open on red. I'm shocked. I sh I'm shocked that they didn't ban Nunu. <laughs> Still, his Nunu is really crazy. Like, you won't expect it. When you face check in a bush, you, you get slowed by Nunu. It's yeah, a I guess <laughs> they were not expecting him on brand to be everywhere that he was, so I could see that working really well for that as well. Poppy. Blind Poppy is very interesting. Ziggs, and suddenly it feels like we're watching two different teams. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ziggs, Janna bot. Um, they have updated their bot lane massively whenever that was the one thing. Hmm, interesting. I guess that makes sense. You know, yeah, Ash, Zyra, like we're fine. Let's do a little bit safer. That switch got a little out of control. <laughs> Even though it wasn't really about the bot lane that caused it. Yeah, um, no. Updating your bot lane in this way. I mean, I guess maybe they think that Rar is always going to play going in comps, but they wisely choose something like Jinx that is going to be totally fine playing against Ujana um, and update their way to play. I'm just curious what they're gonna pair the Jinx with. I mean, point, you're against Diana, right? Crap. You could do anything. You could do a mage. You could do some kind of scaling support. I, you could do some kind of roaming support. I'm just waiting for the Nautilus, honestly. Yeah, I you could also try to punish them. Ooh, Seraphine Seraph makes a lot of sense. I like Seraphine. Um, Seraphine is not great in the support role right now, but whenever you're against something like Ziggs Diana, she has plenty of time to scale. Meanwhile, Yorick picked Blind. I mean, yeah. it could be into Poppy, obviously. But uh, the thing is, too, is, uh, Doki is always thinking ahead. So, you know, it could mm -hmm. be a mid Seraphine. You never know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's definitely one drafter that is very hard to play up against. Yeah, it's hard to ban here because you ban top laners, maybe Poppy goes top. You ban mid laners, it's Seraphine. Same for support. You, you ban supports, it's Seraphine. <laughs> it's just, it's one of those things where it's just like comfortability over uh, predicting or trying to predict. Yeah, but being able to pick Yorick here and ban some counters is pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, Yorick is not one of those champions that is easy to answer whenever your pool is already pinched by the Yor Aatrox and Malphite ban. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm, that's just a respect ban, I think. I, I like it, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's too bad into Yorick. I think Yorick kind of wins that. Hard. Yeah, so what jungler are TD4 looking to pick up here? I mean... The only thing I can think of... The Poppy looks really good right now. 
Like the, this this comp is it's looking really good for top mid or jungle. I, I don't. No, like... I mean for uh, TD Poro, like, what do you pick to select these really passive like oh. lanes? Oh, I was I was under the impression TD was red. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, um, or yeah, TD, TD was red. I'm sorry, oh. I thought it was the other way. Karthus um... is kind of what I was thinking. You know, passive laners. If you pick a strong mid laner, it's hard to invade Karthus. Plus, he's already kind of just doing his power farming thing. I mean, the onus is entirely on Rar to either somehow outscale this monstrosity of a comp TD for has picked, or punish it. And both sound like like monstrous, like titanic tasks to go for. Yeah, I mean, right now it's looking like they're just going to have fun. This is going to be a fun <laughs> matchup regardless. Jinx looking for the 5v5s. You know, TD not at all looking for the 5v5s. Smolder coming in. Smolder is definitely a way to try to outscale this. But uh, mid where the hell is he going? <laughs> oh, What's happening yeah. here? Boulder's been playing a lot of mid recently. On, on yeah, 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 and he's been playing top as well. I just, <laughs> I don't know which one he's I hate using. that matchup. I hate Smolder top. <laughs> Smolder top is an atrocity. Does Smolder actually be... do really want the yard because he can sack off the goals? That'd be really cool. Um, I think so, honestly, because it would just, it just makes sense. But. That I, sounds like it would actually be really tough for York, but they picked the Gwen, I, and I believe that's top, not blind pick. Yeah, that's like I mean, it could be flex. Gwen can still go in the jungle, so that's I mean, we can always, oh, we can always see what this match up and then. <laughs> okay, Seraphine is definitely support. I'm confident in that yes, some people play Poppy support. I love it. I don't think it's happening here. The only flex is the jungle and top. Okay. Jinx is definitely going bot lane. <laughs> okay, so that means Smolder's probably going mid, and P Poppy think... Gwen going top and jungle. Meanwhile, Tristana picked for TD Poro actually. I think it's and, a Ziggs um, mid, Jenna Tris bot. That's also interesting, because you always see those flipped, but I guess it could make sense in the traditional I, roles as well. Yeah, the Tristan and Jenna is just so great together. That and I could, could see Ziggs punishing Smolder pretty hard. Yeah, because Smolder can't touch him. There's just no way for Smolder to actually get him. Alright, we will have to look at the actual, where these champions go, and update you. Because uh, I have no idea. Like, Yorick's going top, Jenna support, Arthur Strungle. <laughs> That's all I got for you. <laughs> still going to be an exciting game nonetheless. Yeah, I think I this think... is a much better draft for both sides. I mean, not for both sides. Much better draft for RAR. It Absolutely. makes it look playable. Uh, it is kind of like you're hoping... I mean, both teams have such good late-game scaling. I'm curious how the early game even goes. Like, if both teams are just going to play passively and farm up on their junglers, mm -hmm. and it's just going to explode around the third or fourth Drake, and before that it's just going to be Econ trades... Um, I don't expect to see that much aggression. I mean, you're talking about Janna Ziggs, right? Yeah, I mean, that's just scaling comp. So they're just not looking to fight. Just right, right, to... but both teams are that scaling comp. It's pretty rare to see that. Usually, there's very Handshake. obviously one team that wants to end the game before 40 minutes. But in this game, I think they're both happy with that. Like, they're just like, can we time travel to 40 minutes in? <laughs> I think, I think kind of TD is just like, you know... We want to play three games like we normally do each week, so we'll just extend game oh, two out a little bit. And just yeah, end it. I get it. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a long one. I can't see this game ending before thirty-five minutes. Um, yeah, we're in here for a long, long time. So you know, make sure you take your your breaks. You know, go grab food because we're gonna be in for a long, fun game. Uh, it could be the last one. Again, if TD4 are on the red side win this game, it will be a two-zero for them, and they will move on to face your team. And yep. Rar will face Baron Busties, Buddies, Besties, Buddies. One of the two. Uh, the Baron Buddies. One of the two. One of the two. <laughs> They're similar enough, you know? Baron All right. Buddy. We are going to get some lock ins very soon for both teams. Again, pretty sure it's Yorick top for DD4. I'm curious who locks in the top lane for Tremor. It will be. Gwyn top. So that definitely means it's Poppy Jungle. Uh, and I'm assuming it's Smolder mid, because no Smolder support Has yet. To be. Maybe one day. <laughs> You're at Karthus for the other side. More curious what TD Poro is playing in the mid lane and bot lane. We now know that Rar are playing Gwyn, Poppy, um, Smolder, Jinx, Seraphine. But who will be facing Smolder in the mid lane? It will be Ziggs, Ziggs mid yep. and Tristana in the AD carry. It just it made a lot of sense, you know. I'm played... just kidding. Oh, they baited you, me. Come on. 
They baited me too. I was like so excited. You know, Tris Tris Jana is just so fun. Uh, it'll be Tristana mid versus Smolder. Ziggs ba- bot lane with Janna versus Seraphina and Jinx. Well, um, you know, that's Rar, Rar, Smolder, <laughs> you know, good. have fun. You're going to have a fun 35-minute game because all you're going to do is get stacks. If you had Ziggs in your lane, that would have been so miserable. So, you know what? Good on you, dude. <laughs> kind of curious if that was about comfort of the players because... You know, it's Most not likely. just where Ziggs goes mid, but also your mid laner has to play Ziggs. Yeah. Um. So curious that that was the option. Most um, likely. But I either mean, way, uh, we will be back after about, you know, four or five minutes in the game. And then we will talk about nonsense for about 30 minutes while the game goes on and they do nothing. And then we will get a fantastic last 10 minutes of the game. That's my prediction. And make uh, sure we you will vote. Be back. Make sure you vote. Predictions out. Yeah. All right. See you guys in a little bit. Got drunk off your love, and I lost myself again. You hit just like a drug. This time I won't let you in. You're playing with vile. No, I didn't on the brain. But this time I won't collide like I did yesterday. Yesterday, you put my heart on the I won't buy the dust in return. I can't give in. I can't give in. I won't give in this time. You put Can't go. 
Welcome to game two of Rar versus TD Poro. Um, I'm wondering if Rar is going to do a five stack. It looks like they want to. Five point for TD Poro, however. And I don't think that Rar really has the CC to really make someone pay for face checking. They do see Verinda, who's probably got a Q to face check with. So I don't think Verinda's in danger. Doki coming to make sure that Verinda knows you are not allowed to be there. <laughs> Brenda will back off. Razors, however, does not have the ability to face check, so Doki doing some strange things, baiting pretty hard. E start from Tristana, which is what you usually want to start, nothing too bad, but the bomb actually hits everybody. So I think there will be a lot of backs from Mar. I mean, I guess not really, just Doki, unless he yeah. wants to do some really weird pathing. No health pot for him. I think he's just going to start his clear at half health. It's too late. It's too late now. Mm hmm. This is the second time that uh, level one went. I mean, I guess level one last time was a lot more interesting. This time it's just Doki is at half health, but I don't think ganks are going to be that big of a deal anyways for a while, and invades probably aren't either. So I'm not sure that it'll materialize to anything. Yeah, it both, look both pretty both funny though. Both junglers can't fight each other now. It's too early. So that's a good thing, I guess, for him. Doki did have to start E, so. It'll I guess it was a little slower than usual, but I mean, you get Q level two, it doesn't matter. So, I think if you're getting a gank first or uh, leash first, you go, you know, something like that. Uh, you might be right. <laughs> I uh, have not done the math. It's been a while. It's been a while. So, bot lane's gonna be just CSing, mid lane's gonna be just CSing. I mean, Bodling could get turned somewhere, actually. That's that's not fair. Level 2 advantage already for Rar and TD Poor was not respecting it. We'll take quite the chunk. Mm -hmm. well, they got lucky that they didn't extend their level 2 advantage. Jinx was too yeah, far back. Yeah, and it's just going to be back to business as usual. Full clears from both junglers. Karthus way ahead, as Karthus oh, jungle oh. does. And my favorite, top lane fights. <laughs> Doki might actually look for a gank here. I don't think it's very well advised, however. Mm. Kind of just wasting time. Maybe mid lane turns into something because you get to get behind. Is Doki looking for an invade? Like, I guess he doesn't know where Verinda started or maybe he doesn't think Verinda could do to everything, but Verinda did. Like, there is nothing left for Doki to find. Meanwhile, Tristana doing the same thing on the other side and sees, hey, uh, Doki's entire jungle is up. I think he's AFK. <laughs> Bot yeah, so Doki clears one quadrant, starts a recall, is now going for the gank bot lane, but it's on Ziggs Janna. We'll have to see if it actually turns into anything. W gets in, stun onto Ziggs. I think this will actually turn into a kill, at least a summoner spell. One goes down, they will get first blood to Jinx. And Doki is rewarded for his questionable play. I mean, Doki just does crazy things. It's mm. okay, this is, we're just gonna call them Doki things. Doki things. Yep. It happens all the Clear time. Clear your first quadrant, go into the enemy jungle to check it out for 10 minutes, then gank. So now, Miranda has literally gotten three quadrant jungling on Karthus, which is the most broken thing you can do. <laughs> but, Doki has gotten Jinx first blood, which is a pretty broken thing as well. I mean, you know... Oh, Tristana and Miranda are coming up. This is an interesting game timing, though, because Hoodie's pretty low, and you don't have the CC to really stop Tremor. So, are they waiting for Doki? 
<laughs> they don't know though. Doki does not come to farm yet. <laughs> so <laughs> Brenda will just recall and Doki will find the bad news that his camps are already gone. I mean, he probably already knows. Yeah, the blue pink goes in immediately. So he'll be surprised to find that his wolves are still up, I think. Yeah. I mean, um, as part of your job is to just scale into the late game. Mm -hmm. You're not looking for ganks, so Doki going for that gank just makes sense for him to walk in there and take it off. Now that it's... Right, now that Look at how bad of a spot Hoodie's in, by the way. Um... No mana. Wave is pushing out, but not gonna crash. Doki yeah. even has nothing to do. He's nearly he's newly freed up because there's nothing in this quadrant. So Tremor just gets to freeze. And right now, he's wave denial. Right now, it's definitely an O. I think he just. Oh, I think it's gone. I think he messed it up. Um. Yeah, he might have yeah, wanted to like slow push it because he wants to be there for Doki right here. Because you can see Fred is level five, so Tremor oh, has to come. Oh my god, Doki is so under level. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, wait, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Doki things. Just Doki things. Oh, a second one oh goes my god, over to fight. Miranda. What? And Why you want to be opposite side of the jungle that's up two levels no. on you, but unfortunately he finds the same quadrant that Miranda wants to be on, and Miranda gets all three void grabs, and Doki just gets to watch. Yeah, now that, I mean, that mess up, it definitely helps on their own, um, Tremors or Doki's. I mean, I get uh, it. If you look at the map, the Infernal Dragon is like a big neon sign, like, come get me. Verinda, like, arguably should objectively be at the Dragon Pit, but maybe Verinda thinks Doki will think I'm at the Dragon Pit. Meanwhile, Verinda's not at the Dragon Pit. He's ganking bot lane, gets a flash and a ghost at a red face beast before coming to collect his dragon bounty. Well, Tremor had six first because of the freeze. So this top lane fight might have turned into something because Hoodie was denied for so long. Yes, he has a pickaxe to just Doran's ring, so it will not be lethal damage, but he is out of this lane for quite some time now. I mean, he does have TP up, so he's just going to cheese. He should cheese back. He's not going to, but he needs six to keep any sort of momentum going in this top lane. His maiden is just too valuable. Gwen can't answer into him unless the maiden is up. So. The squad is here for this dragon, by the way. <laughs> they are not letting Verinda just do it alone. They want to get him back to farming as soon as possible. Yeah, and I mean, him getting a hat in the jungle, it's just, it's going to be so bad for Doki. He's already That is a 22 CS lead for Verinda versus Doki right now. He's about to be two levels up again. Like, he almost has ultimate in seven minutes. Yeah, it turns out giving Karthus every quadrant of the map that he wants is not ideal. Giving him Void Groves and Dragon on top of that? Uh, mm. You are heavily relying on the Jinx on the Smolder to carry you in late game. We just gotta wait and hope and pray. Wait, how do you actually kind of get back into this lane because the poke is annoying? Meanwhile, the jump in from Razor is just gonna be given a Q stack over to Rifter. I think a hoodie, a hoodie has Ghost. It could look Doki is here for a gank. Not level 6 yet. But it is possible if Razors go for a greedy jump again. Doki does not finish yet. Rookter making it look juicy. The W again cancels Tristana W. It goes out early, but now mm -hmm. he can wait it out. Razors will flash then W and wow. flash for Doki's gank. Not so good for the smolder because he's already ahead by a lot of gold. 400 gold. It might not seem a lot, but on smolder... You're behind the whole game until you start yeah. getting your stack. So this is great for him. Yeah, it looks like Smolder and Jinx are going to have to be the focus. I mean, Gwen is also doing pretty well. Honestly, we've talked about the jungle so long that it feels like Rar is on fire, but their lanes are doing great. So, yeah, I mean, really, it's just about it. This Karthus can just make some magic happen now that he is up two levels on Doki. Now it's transitioning to that point where Yorick is just going to start beating on the Gwen. So Gwen, although he did good, he didn't die, he's up 20 CS, it's going to start okay. dwindling. It's going to start changing. Can we talk about how Rar moved their dual lane to the mid lane? I guess just for tempo um, and to give Zig some alone time with the bot wave? Maybe, um, but also because Grubs is coming up. Grubs? Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, that's for Grubs. Yorick. You don't want Yorick but, to have six Grubs, that just doesn't always work out. Right, but Richter doesn't have teleport and Ziggs does. So yeah, it is still that risky. Is true. That is true. 
And you kind of left Ziggs alone with the tower for long enough that he got a plate, and he will be happy to take more. I'm trying to think of the, if there's any CC on Smolder. I don't think so. So Ziggs has free reign to TP. Yeah, Smolder is not... I mean, yes, he's a solo lane, so he's supposed to be higher level than the bot lane and be able to punish the bot lane by leaving him without the support. But I think Husky's just fine. I don't think he minds at all. So Verinda is starting the... Void grubs. It is 4v4, but again, Ziggs has teleport at any time. Smolder does not. They get one already. Meanwhile, Doki coming in. The old Sampionol finds a lot of people. The Poppyol finds a lot of people. There's no teleport from Ziggs. Verinda will go down again. Verinda gets the ult from that position, though. However, so now Lunar going really low, not able to die. Tremor is also going to just walk away. And they just kind of get cards with Sajana for free. And now that was a bad fight. A really, really bad fight. But here we are I mean, now. They they only took one void grub, so I mean yes. they're not gonna get the void mine. So that's the only sad part for them. But yeah, I guess the laner dominance for Mar was more than enough to overcome the Karthus. I mean Karthus died in the middle of everybody like he wants to. He got the ult off, but there just wasn't enough follow up because Ziggs never teleported, and Yorick was too far behind. I hope Cody's not beating himself up on not getting that kill on Seraphine on the one HP auto attack cancel. He yeah, I mean, even that one kill is not going to change the situation that much. You lost the two Void Grubs that would have given you some summons on Yorick, of all things. And you gave over some really nice kills to some scaling carries of Rar. Yeah, now he's just going to... He's going to be a terror demon this game. It's going to be fun. Okay, so Rar is actually picking up a lot for this game. I mean, their draft is certainly better, but they also just feel like their macro is paying dividends off of their draft. Richter, however, is 1v2 as Smolder. Not the ideal. Yeah, like, you can say Ziggs, Janna isn't that much pressure, but you have no mana as Rook as oh, they're a, looking for something Smolder, here. and now Razor is jumping in. This is going to be a kill. Bye, Smolder. Oh, Razors, don't take the entire wave. <laughs> That's greedy. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, free kill on Richter because they left him in the 1v2 for no discernible reason. The dual lane sure does get to go mid, but now Husky's teleporting in. And Ziggs, I can assure you, will not get dove the same way. It may happen, but it won't be nearly that easy as the wave will fall with them only getting one plate. Did they get a plate? Yeah, I think they just left Richter bot lane too long. Yeah, no, definitely. And he was too low health to be staying there, so... He's going back again? Take him under. Yeah, he yeah. has mana and hope. Meanwhile, Husky now, staying too long as well, gets stunned uh -oh. stunned again and killed. And uh, I said it wouldn't be easy to dive him, but they kind of made it look easy. <laughs> yeah, no, Doki's playing a fantastic game. It's just a... It's just poppy death. Oh, actually dying because he channeled oh. the ultimate, slowing him down enough that he took two tower shots. With the wall slow. I was going to start talking good things about him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just... He, he wanted to ult the tower away, but that's not how Poppy ult works. <laughs> Unfortunately. Imagine just... See you <laughs> the ult the tower away. Goodbye, tower. See you at Nexus. Alright, so... With Doki dead, they are starting the dragon for TD Pora. Rookter is just taking the free time to be on the tower. Pretty happy with that. Plate is really good. Cloud Drake, not that big of a concern. The Hextech Drake, however, is going to be very good for both teams. I mean, every champion here basically would love that Drake. So this they're leaving Richter bot lane. Um, and they're kind of just like saying, you can do whatever you want. Richter is going to be bot lane. He's going to be stacking. You can send Ziggs against him. You can send Tristana against him. But he will be stacking in the bot lane. And with uh, the upcoming Rift Herald in 26 seconds, you, we should see now Doki and his team running up, starting to get some vision down, because they want this Rift Herald. I think getting it mid lane, getting the Jinx fed. Oh, that's speaking of this tower, by the way, will do so. Did you just satchel him? Yep. It had the icon and everything. He is locked up, said, Richter, stop me if you can. Press W. Bye. Great tower. Oh, no. We're going to see a good play on Rift Herald here up in a second. All ultimates Richter are up. does not have teleport. So, 
Meanwhile, Doki is starting it, but again, Rokuto does not have teleport. Ziggs is coming up. Will they finish the Herald before everyone coming mid? I mean, they're just staying mid right now. I think they're willing to give the Herald, or they don't know that it's already being started. Tristan is moving back to answer Rookter, so it will just be a 4v4, but Razors does technically have teleport, and Rookter is just completely out of, uh, caught out. Like, that is oh. such awkward timing that all the minions are dead, and Rookter's dead, and now there's teleport from Razor. The card that's all starting to make sure that they don't even think about engaging. Tremor is still concerned about it. Seraphine ult's pretty good, but they don't have the health bars. And now that Tristana gets to come in and Rookter does not, means Ludipro is going to pay with her life. Doki ult is Tristana... going to not stop anyone. And that's a Herald. Well, their trust is bad. And you know what? Yeah. They didn't even need to know that they were on it. Because guess what? It's their rift anyway. <laughs> yeah. Interesting that Richter has just been single-mindedly going bot lane. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if that's a Richter decision or a team decision, but it has not been working out for him. We can do a stack count real quick. He currently has 117 stacks, so he's almost to the point where he will be, like, really getting those two stacks quickly, but it might be too late if he continues to fall like this. Nina Doki getting Jana queued. Let's just hope that, you know, the team doing very good, like the Jinx, the Seraphine, the Glen, you know, everything around them. All they need to do, get his true damage uh, Q. Bang, bang. It's going to be a GG. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a question of Rookter and Redface B scaling versus the Hextech soul stacking of TD4. You know, Doki going aggressive. Rinda's pretty strong, however, up a level. Rinda does not mind dying here. It will be to the Jinx ult over, which is really good for them. You know, Razor's find Rookter again. This is going to be another kill. Flashes oh. or Flash. Jinx getting that kill is intense. And Tristana getting another kill onto Rookter just means something has got to change or else this game will be over. Yeah, Rookter, he just needs to relax. He's getting his stacks very fast, but at what cost? He's died three times now. He's up 20 CS, same yes? Same it's, place. Come on. You can't do that. You can't get this Tristana more kills. She's already fed. Yeah, I don't know. I, it feels like, even though they have a pretty fed Jinx, they might have to give up a third Drake to TD Poro. And if they have to do that, then fourth Drake suddenly becomes very scary. Mid push yeah. is a little scary as well. Husky does not have mana, so yes, he oh, can my... destroy the tower pretty quickly. I don't think they anyone should. can really surround, though, so they're fine. See, if they knew, if they were paying... They should have pushed that wave. That would have been so great for another Reptile charge. Oh, man. It's okay. They didn't know where anybody is, so it's fine. Yeah. I'll, get, I'll, I'll let them go. <laughs> I'll let it slide this time. I'll let it okay. slide. Will Rector die again in the next 60 seconds in the bot lane? Probably Vote not. now. Vote now. The pull is up. Vote now. <laughs> Quick 30-second <laughs> pull. Actually, Hoodie staying for this tower pretty aggressively. Doki is here, so they might get a kill, which is pretty nice right before Dragon spawns. He does have teleport, so Hoodie will be available. But getting that means that top pressure will be entirely on the side of Rar, and they might be able to leverage that into stopping the third Drake. Yeah, I mean, that was a very good pick. Drag's coming up, you should know. Tower is not worth it. You want to live for that, that Dragon Soul. That opens up so much for you, especially when the next Dragon spawns up. You can trade it for Baron. Now but you it's might only lose true it. if Rar can capitalize, and they oh. absolutely won't if Leader gets caught. The damage oh, is intense. They don't no. even need the card assault. And now oh, the pick that seems no. more impactful is that Lunar is dead. And this yeah, has got to be third trick for Didi Poro. Tristana for the win. You know, I was I was mad about it going mid, but it seemed to be working out very good. <laughs> yeah. It's really just hunting Richter wherever he is at this point. And now it just picks up a Seraphine for fun, too. Jinx is going to look for an ult, and it might kill her. It actually oh will my kill God, her. She's no. going for a cheeky ultimate and gets killed by the Tristana. Oh, the, you know what? Yeah, ult's pretty good. They do steal oh. the dragon, which is really good for their chances of scaling. Brenda has no mana, so he will die. Now he can no use abilities, oh, but it's too oh. late. Brooke, they're actually getting stacks from just getting so much spells off. And, uh, you know, aside Rangers, from the Tristana, so it goes all well for Rar. Yes, Razors gets another kill, but it's going to be a shutdown onto Smolder, and he might get more. Chasing onto Husky, only to W to go away. The Q goes really far off, so now the heal means the Cypher will live for a little bit longer. Might get a kill. The W actually pushes Richter back, cannot find the Janna. So Richter will only get what he's gotten, but I'm pretty sure he's happy with the shutdown of Tristana and the kill steal. 
Meanwhile, Jinx using Rocket to push out top wave to save that tower. Um, it could have been used more speculatively mid whenever there's two low health targets. But taking the secured wave clear is acceptable too. Yeah, I mean, wow. That mid lane fight, Smolder should have gotten the kill on Janna. Janna should have gotten the kill on him. It was just a blunder on both ends. Now Baron's right. coming up in 26. That dragon was so... I mean, like, the fight was good for Rar, other than the Jinx, of course. But the the dragon was the most important part, because they just bought themselves two more dragon spawns of scaling. Yep. And, you know, just dokey things, walking into pit, stealing the dragon. No biggie. I mean, the ultimate was good enough. It just got... Mm -hmm. I believe it got Verinda out. Definitely... No, sure it got, uh, got Jan out. She ulted. Oh, well. <laughs> you know, then you're just the better jungler sometimes. It, it works out. Some in solo queue might say, jungle, diff. <laughs> uh, I definitely would have been saying that the first five minutes. <laughs> but I guess it goes the other way now. Hoodie is just a tank. He does not care. So he will walk away. New York looking to stack the wave on bot lane. Almost had it. I mean, it, but there's a it would be cute to stack that and be like, Richter, come bot lane. It is your home. <laughs> <laughs> Please stack yeah. it. Just to die the, to the Tristana again. Not the Yorick. Yeah, classic. Oh, actually looking for Husky. He's got to find a good W. The stun doesn't quite find the root, but it doesn't really matter. Janna ult will save him for now, but the flash word for Redface means that he is excited, but on the wrong side of the map. Meanwhile, the front side of Rar is looking for some tremors, looking for Hoodie Man. He will definitely find Hoodie Man. Does Hoodie Man fight back to try to maybe heal enough? It doesn't matter. Meanwhile, mid lane Lunar Pog goes down. Razors is going to find a lot of kills, but not before Mom comes in! Kills the fed Tristana. Verinda oh. will also go down. Probably won't find anything. Yes, you might pick up Doki. I doubt it. Doesn't. And uh, oh, Mom man. saves the day. I mean, good good smolder ult. I mean, what, what can we say? Mom? Yeah, Tristana looked like she was going to instantly carry that fight, but Mom was not having it. No, not to her smolder, baby. <laughs> So, As we transition, there's going to be a bear and pit fight, I think. I mean, yeah, Honestly, has picked up their scaling it. intensely. This Karthus, who was the biggest threat for the first 10 minutes of the game, is now laughably behind. Yeah. And definitely not close enough to stop this Baron. They don't see it because all of the Red Wards are just not quite close enough. They might suspect it, however. Decipher not willing to face check it yet, does so now, so they now know. Karthus is hightailing it over here, but Tristana and Yorick are looking for Gwen. Zig's ult does not get enough damage off. And Lunarpaw still has an ultimate that makes it very hard for Rin to go in. She's, he's got a blast plant, but there's still Poppy ult. And Rinda goes in really early because Rar was able to play it well and delay. So now Rinda's dead. You can't smite while you're dead. You can do everything else as Karthus, but not smite. And Razor's is caught as well. Has to jump out, has to flash out. But the health bars of Rar are so low that Husky could possibly clean up if they're not careful. Trimmer has teleported in. Mom comes in just to heal. Redface Beast is able to kill, but dies to Zig at the same time. So I don't think Rar wants to go for the Baron anymore. Oh man, what a good fight. Good beat. You know, Ver uh, Veranda kind of went a little too early, but, you know, it is what it is. It happens. Sometimes, to the best of us. You get scared, you I mean, don't want Veranda to go away. Sometimes not taking the 50-50 is smart. It's yeah. a 50-50, you smite, or Doki gets it, but it's 100% if you go in early, use the reduced magic resist of the Baron to try to kill people and take the fight instead. Whenever yeah. you think you can clean it up with the Tristana, and they almost did. But good news is, not only did he die, but he died for a good cause. He reset the Baron. No Baron. Smolder is, still is 22 stacks away from doing the Elder Dragon Menace that we all know he can be, and we all love him for. And you know what? Now it's starting to shift. The tides are shifting. Do I like it? No. Smolder, <laughs> stop it. Don't get the 25 stacks. He's not going to have it before Dragon spawns, and he will have to teleport here. Karthus ult coming in to just make the health bars low and get 5 gold, plus 5 gold. Pog. Dragon's going down really quickly. Doki's not going to be here, and Smolder oh. cannot teleport. So they oh, will the... get it, and Rar's just letting it go. I don't think they want to fight afterwards either. The Jinx was so close to stealing that. That would be really embarrassing for Verinda. <laughs> Losing it to a smite's one thing. Losing it to a Jinx ult's another. I think this might still looking possible, but 
really, they're just kind of sitting around waiting while TD Poro is getting some nice form off. Tremor is getting damage off on this tower. Is kind of intense that he just took half the health. But now he's going to pay for it. Razor jumping in way too quickly. Will fall before he can do anything. Brenda's right where he wants to be in the center, but he can't find anyone but Doki. Meanwhile, Hoodie is going to have to run away. Yes, Karthus will be pulsing him on the backside. And it does save his life, but they still lose two just for Razor's going in incredibly aggressively. I mean, they had that fight in the bag, I think, regardless of them being in the bush. But that Tristana dying, you lost all your damage, that's it. Richter. Richter. Is he just Please. that effective that he could just... Richter! Richter's... Richter, you don't have 2200... Richter! Richter! Uh, Why? I'm... <sighs> okay, Richter... maybe Smolder needs a nerf. <laughs> what the fuck is no, that? No, Richter is just different, okay? Don't don't hate on my boy. <laughs> Richter is he auto attack the turret in the face of a Ziggs, then said, yeah, I'll get to you next. He and said, finally you know... looked at him and killed him and where he stood. <laughs> He took the term too literally. In for the win, <laughs> too literally. Now he's 5 3 and 2. Oh man, he's going to be a menace. He, he already is a menace. Did you not see him destroy the tower in Zig's face and then laugh in his face as mom killed him? In his defense, Zig should have gotten out, <laughs> but he wanted the 1v1, so he didn't move. Yeah, it was definitely the closest I've ever seen two ranged characters look at each other. They were literally. Like, it wasn't throwing or shooting fireballs. It was just they were touching kissing. each other. <laughs> they were kissing <laughs> on each other. Mm. Hiding takes away DPS, so I refuse to do it, I guess, is the yeah. mentality. Why, and why DPS work out for stand, us? stand still and kill the other guy? It just it mm -hmm. makes sense. We're just, we're not thinking smart, I guess. Well, it worked out for one of them. <laughs> Baron's still up. Hopefully they start. Someone's got. Oh, start Doki moving. got a, a Janna ulted away, but it might not be enough. Husky is in a lot of trouble here. Most damage before he can even W out, and the burn is ticking. And Husky will be killed despite everything used to try to save him. A flash, a heal, and a Janna ult. Yeah, it was just too far up aggression. The Husky, you know, you're an AD carry. You can't be there. Stop it. And now Don't I thought the Ziggs wave clear because this tower pressure is very real. You're talking about Jinx and. Uh, this time should fed. be Yeah. Yep. And they could. Uh, it is very hard that. to fight against a uh, 225 stack smolder. You just stand like, there and look get at burned. that damage. Yep. That was stupid. One Q. Uh, stopping the backs with Karthus ult is kind of cute. It does mean that they will have to blow teleport to stop Razor from getting the inhib tower. And fourth dragon will be spawning in one minute forty-one seconds, and the only chance it feels at this moment with the tempo the way it is for TD Poro is that soul. And even then, it's not look? clear. Pink board to make sure that hoodie oh, doesn't know. No. But hoodie kind of senses something. He does not want to face check that bush. I like how hoodie oh, had the spidey senses so strong that Doki put down the pink board because he's like, "Oh, there's a oh. ward here." I mean, I but think actually the spidey Doki senses is. have waved off because surely a jungler would move on by now, but Doki is not that jungler. So he comes in with the stun. Decipher does have ultimate. Tremors is already half health. But the Gwen ult is pretty good. However, interrupted by the Jan ult and Hoodie is healing. Now Doki is caught out. And that's two picks right before Dragon spawns. And they might just get the soul that they need. You know what? Good job, TD. That was great. Waiting. Hoodie played so good. He had that Gwen solo. Gwen... Uh, Gwen was too low to do anything in that fight. Doki stayed too long. He should have just left. Team comes down, gets the double kill. That's their dragon. And okay, possibly so they there. don't have a jungler, but it looks like Rar might be trying to do a desperation trade Baron without a jungler for a dragon. I'm not sure no, if TD Poro would call this because it's absolutely insane. There's no tank, so they're going to take a lot of damage, but there's the no way. And Smolder do a lot of damage. I think they get it if there's oh. no opposition. No it doesn't way. look like TD Poro is aware of this, and if they're not aware, it will go down, and it will be a Baron for Rar, just because they have absolutely no worries in the world that anyone would ever call them out on it. Yeah, no, I mean, Rar this season has shown it over time and time again. They're the most gutsy team on uh, in this league, by yeah. far. They're the only team to think to do that. <laughs> yeah, you killed my jungler and top laner? Fuck okay, it. Fine. <laughs> Our carries are okay. going to get Baron. What are you going to do? They do, Nothing. however, lose the soul to TD Poro. Which so is... now, I mean, yeah, it feels almost inconsequential, which is crazy to say about souls. 
but that's just the smolder world we live in today. Yeah, I mean, imagine Tex Tex Soul with Smolder. Those cues. <laughs> oh, Tremor Signs Razors. This is again Razor being a little too aggressive. Doki's also here, so there's no jump. Stun, and that will be a dead Tristana. Meanwhile, they now know that there's nothing here top lane, so they're going to be on the chase, but Hoodie gets slowed instead of slowing them, and then Janna's not going to catch them, right? They're walking through. Triple slow, but there's just not enough CC. Now Hoodie's a little bit caught. Smolder damage is pretty real, but Rar cannot get too complacent here. I'm not sure they want this fight. Well, they do get the ultimate. doesn't hit anyone, and now Rookter is in their face. Wolverine to be able to stop the Dragon Menace. Absolutely not. He will go down in about... Veranda's gonna die. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Now he will go down because Doki has made it all the way from the bot lane fight to here. Just and, Doki. Uh, wow. Oh man. Yeah, you've got a Ziggs to stop this siege, and he even has a Hexexel, and it still doesn't feel like enough. The Baron Cannon plus Richter's fire breathing menace. Look at this. Husky's health is down. If Jinxel comes out, he's dead. He does have, uh, he's actually up in two seconds. Not yet, not yet. He's gonna use it. But two it is seconds. still really scary to be playing as Husky right now. Razor's in the same position now as well, where the tower is just gonna go down. And Janna Holt is no solace. Rookter will kill you through that shit. And there it goes. And head turret down. Is this how you have up. to play after you secure the soul? How do you ever feel like you're gonna live to Elder? <laughs> you know what? I don't know. At this rate, the smolder 2Q, it's just going so hard. There's he almost has 300 issues. sacks. <clears throat> He's at 304. Do they... I'm honestly not too sure. Does it do anything after that, or just increase Yeah, yeah so it scales per uh, stack. Like, every stack does more damage on his Q, W, and E. Oh, no, and I know. That almost Q... Yeah, I know. His Q does not five. get better, except for the slightly scaling damage. Just, yeah. Okay. That's what I, I believe the burn. I believe the burn that he gets also increases. Uh, no, so the execute range increases with the number of souls, but the burn. Does yeah, not because increase. because of the stacks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And no. I say souls because every stacking champion uses souls except for Smolder. Doesn't he's gonna keep with it. No, it's a uh, it's um dragon practice stats or whatever. I sw I swear that he uh he gets a bigger ranged Q. At, at certain points. Like, I thought it was only three, now it's five. Is that the 225 mark? I'm not really too sure about this champion. I haven't played with him too much. <laughs> it's been an interesting um, to be a menace, though. Checking it currently. Looking at the queue, though. trying to see what you're talking about. Um... I do not see anything that increases the range other than the second part where it just gets a knock, or... You okay. know, hits the back behind part. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm just losing it. Okay. Doki looking for a fight, but he doesn't quite have the team with him. Meanwhile, Brenda, just, I'm like, well, you know what? The first five minutes of the game, I'm winning. I was winning, so I'm just gonna invade again and see if it helps. I'm sure he gets <laughs> the blue buff, but uh, not exactly the big objective that it was at the beginning of the game. Actually, Verinda and Hoodie Man are on the wrong side of Doki and Smolder. It's such a weird fight. Smolder's in the middle of No Man's Land, flies in anyways. They find him. I don't think his bomb is going to help him here. Janna's Flash Ultimates means that he will get shut down by Hoodie Man. Verinda will die early, but it's cards, so you don't mind it. However, that still gets Jinx aside. Lunar know. Ball goes down without any ultimate. Decipher will fall. Poppy falls. Tremor's going to go down pretty soon. Zanya's is pretty good. Razor's is still alive and able to clean up if it's. I mean, Jinx just has to run away. And uh, Richter thought he was God. He flew too close to the sun, and someone burned his wings down. I mean, that Janna flash ult was so good. Getting mm -hmm. that getting that Richter to, you know, that silly Richter to get him out of position. <laughs> Again, Richter would never get caught out of position. That's definitely not happened this game before. Honestly, he, he would have had a great game. You know, his positioning was very, very bad. He would have been I don't think Beast can stop this, by the way. This is a level 18 Yorick that already has a tower down. Now you're yeah, stuck. Awesome. Has oh, to flash God. away. It might not be enough, but Jinx is pretty fed. So even though Beast is down three levels, he is able to repel Hoodie from killing anything other than tower. And, you know, 3k gold deficit for uh, the side of uh, TD. But I still think, you know, we got 55 seconds on Dra or Elder Dragon. We have 30 mm -hmm. seconds on Baron. 
if Rar gets that Elder Dragon, the game is over. There's no way that they're going to live with Dragon Practice and Elder. They have so, to secure it. Smolder does have all the important items. The um, Usually, uh, Spear of Shojin is just for stacking, but you've also got the Quick Claws that it benefits off the crit off of Essence Weaver, and then Leandre's for the burn damage and the damage ramping up over time in combat, which is really good whenever you've got the burn damage on the Q. So this Smolder, if he doesn't get caught out again, will definitely try to decide fights. It's up to either Hoodie Man to draw them away to top lane, which he's trying right now, or onto some creative CC usage like the Flash Janna ult to be able to pick up Rooker. Again, Hextech Soul, usually very game-defining, not really here. Rooker getting kind of caught, has to go to half health, which is a little bit scary. They're also teleporting Gwen out, which means there will be no TP for the Elder fight. Hoodie could walk away or just kill Trimmer. How is Trimmer almost dead just to minions? Might be just a great bait. You know what? Brenda in the middle of everyone, which is kind of where he wants to be. Ziggs ult's pretty good. Can they run over for the cards that's old? Red Face Beast is excited. Mom comes in. So they are able to get a triple kill for this. Where did that damage come from? Hoodie gets the inhibitor. They killed everyone but Rookter and Doki. Hoodie's going to try to end the game. Teleports in. They don't even want the Elder. Yes, Rookter will be able to teleport in, but it's just a smolder. I don't think he can do it without help. Doki is going to try to save the game, but Tristana just kills everything so fast they can't get on Razor. Razor's just right clicking. Who no will stop Razor? No one. Way. And TD Poro suddenly, out of nowhere, will 2 0 Rar. Wow. 2K gold down, and they still end up winning the game. I mean, it's not even the gold, oh. it's the fact that you're talking about a smolder with level 18 and like 350 oh stats. Oh my god. Wow. Um, you know, yeah, I, the, the I was gearing up to talk about draft for game three, but there is no game three. You know, Cody Man said no. Um, Verinda did everything that he was supposed to in that fight. Just stand in the middle and press R. I, that R damage must have been intense. I was not expecting a triple kill. I was like, oh, maybe he gets one. And suddenly the entirety of R is just gone. And you know, it's, um, it's crazy to note that I don't think they have lost two games in a series. This whole season. Mm -hmm. They were the first seed. Um, yeah. And, and I that's really good for us. thought... We get two side selections next week. I'm excited. I really thought that if Rookter lived for the whole fight, it was lights out yeah. for TD4, but they just find the oh, damage on everything else, and Rookter can't end it. And Trimmer there... I don't know what happened. Like He got so low to the minions that Karthus ult killed him, too. Um, and I guess you're like in a panic mode because you have to fight the Yorick. If you don't fight Yorick, Yorick's gonna TP and win the Elder fight for them. But suddenly Tremor was at two health and Karth's Assault picked it up. Um, oh, and man. uh, I don't great. even know how Lunar died, but I'm assuming that it was similar to Jinx, just they picked up the Karthus but weren't able to get out of it in time. You know, I, I, so I just there's so much to unpack because I was not expecting that fight to go that way. <laughs> You know, putting um, in at the end there, I don't think it would have ended like that if, if he didn't play the way that he played. Oh, absolutely. He pressured the Gwen play. to get low health because, again, you have the TP and you have to fight the Yorick or else Yorick will teleport. And, he will and win his the ability to get the Gwen low without committing too much meant that the game was over instead of just them just getting Elder and maybe trying to end the game. It was just over. I just... Um, that ending was so insane. Just to have yeah, um, man top lane. If I was one of these teams, I'd want to look at that ending over and over again. And you know who would help me look at it over and over again the best? Who? Oh. A coach from our sponsor, coachify.gg. They would be able to tell you exactly what happened, who did that fight well, and who could have maybe made a game-saving play. Because coachify.gg is a platform for esports coaches. They can track their students and grow their business. There's zero commissions. It's free to join. There's course tracking and PayPal integration. So that way you can find students and help them understand whenever that clusterfuck just happened, what happened. You and know, that's why they are a sponsor. I think Freak would be an excellent candidate. He would have just told them to type Karthus R. And that would have gotten him a triple kill. I mean, I'm sure there was definitely a chat moment where there were a bunch of people typing Karthus R, Karthus R, Karthus R. Karthus R. Please, Karthus R, now. Please, I'm begging you. I got them low. I promise you it's going to be a kill. 
Um, either way, uh, that means for next week, your team uh, will be facing Ra uh, Ra TD Poro uh, with side selection, and Rar will be facing Baron Buddies, Besties, uh, Bros, and Friends. Baron Buddy, Besties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, I mean, this is not what we were expecting, to be honest. We've, yeah. been, doing, we've been scouting Rar, you know, getting ready for Rar, because, again, they're, they're just they, – you need that preparation for them. And you know they I've been corrected. It's Baron Buddies. Baron Just Buddies. To be clear, there's a Baron Besties that plays in a different league. Well, this oh, league, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the division. Yeah, it's the same order. No. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's funny actually. Baron Besties. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, no. I mean, Rar is just one of those teams you have to sit there and scout for. You have to you have mm -hmm. to watch them. Well, you know, not you, because you guys don't have to worry about them until I much know, later in the bracket. That's great. Now we just gotta, you know, get our TD up, watch TD. Uh, I got two excellent games of them. You know, I mean, yeah, they showed two very different strategies. I, they played the Ash Zyra for one type of bot lane, and then Ziggs Ganda just totally missing, uh, you know, waving that around. The Maokai to Karthus transition is also pretty different, and the Yasuo Tristana, um, I mean, their team comps were just showing two very potent ones. I mean, sure, they didn't play the second game as amazingly as the first one. Well, really, the first one was a draft diff, but, you know. No. Um, but you do have to worry about a lot of things with that team. It doesn't seem like there's any one thing you can ban and make them perform worse. All I know is that that Razor guy, he's not getting Tristana next week. Uh, don't go for it. <laughs> All right, you heard it here first. Not getting it. Next week, don't try Razor it. is not getting Tristana. No, no Tristana. That would not be fun. All right, no Tristana for you. We'll have fun with it, maybe, but you're not getting it. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'm really excited for next week. Um, I'm assuming we'll see the upper bracket for Arbiter, but that's really up in the air. Yes, we will yeah. be seeing that. Yeah. So um, you'll watch, you'll get to watch me in top lane. Don't worry, you will get the fights. I will make it happen. Everybody, I'm in. sure Hoodie will take you up on that. He didn't seem to have much fun on the Malphite versus Silas, but he did seem ready to brawl with York. Yeah, no, we're definitely gonna draft some brawly type top lane. We'll yeah. have fun. And it's a bit of an early night because we're used to three games every time, but it was a 2 0 despite feeling like a 2 1 or something because of that last game. Um, yeah, no, that but yeah, that's basically good. it for us. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks to our sponsor, CoachFi.gg. Thanks to XX Angry for. Showing up after brutally destroying Baron Buddies because they didn't show up. Brutally, um, brutally. It was a really, well. really bad. Yeah, no. Diff, diff all around. Um, and we will see the two. Uh, is it is Baron Buddies the second place team or the third place team? Before they are the third place team, but it doesn't matter mm -hmm. because Baron, or, uh, Rar has top seed. Gotcha. Okay. So no yeah, matter so what, we will not. probably be watching. Your game, and look forward to that next week. Thank you so yep, much for nope. joining us. See you guys next week.